Good day, folks. It's DIY Guy123 here bringing you another do it yourself video. Today we've got the new X2L IP819 automotive scanner, and I've got it plugged into a 2012 Mustang GT. And I want to demonstrate the use of one of the special functions. It's called seat match. Now there's a sensor in the passenger seat and it detects whether there's a person in that seat or not. It would impact whether the airbag would go off or not and uh, whether the seat belt needs to be fastened or not. Um, certainly, certainly the seat belt fastening, I'm certain that the weight sensor would be required in that logic. I, I, I'm guessing airbag related, but I guess I'm not certain about that. So <clears throat> if you have changed your seat or your seat you've modified the seat in some way or there's some other problem with the seat or change to the seat and the car thinks that there's someone sitting in the seat when no one's there or they don't think someone's sitting in the seat when when there is someone there uh, you need to go through a seat match function so i'm going to show you how easy it is here there is a procedure but it's not difficult so you go into special functions seat match this is in america and i will do automatic detection and it showed my 2012 Mustang. And I will do system selection and occupant classification system module, OCSM. And if you had a trouble code, uh, there, there isn't one here, but if you had one, you could read it and you could clear it if you wanted this, if you thought you had resolved it. Then if you go into special functions, reset of passenger system, turn the ignition switch to the on position and it is in the on position. I hit yes. It says the seat must be empty. So obviously if you're going to recalibrate it, you can't have someone sitting in there. So what it's saying here is make sure no one's sitting in the seat. You don't want anything under the seat and any items that were not factory installed, get those off of there. Uh, the ambient temperature of the vehicle has to be between 6 and 36 degrees Celsius. And if the vehicle is outside these limits, then you must soak it for no less than four hours to stabilize the seat. So that would be for temperature and also for stress. So if you had a bag of groceries on the seat all night and you took the bag of groceries off, I think they're saying that you need to wait four hours after you take the groceries off for the seat to, to go back to its normal neutral stage. Do you want to re-zero the seat weight sensor? And I do. So it says operation in process and um, we'll be sitting here for a little while. It says 10% complete. Uh, the counter kind of for me, anyway, when I did this previously, it stayed at 10%, and then it prompted me to shut the ignition off. So there wasn't like a progression up to 100. So it's not a problem. Just like normally when you see that kind of a progress bar, you think it's going to move up to 100%, and it, it didn't. Okay. Have the ignition turned to off position. I did that. Okay. Turn the ignition to the on position. I did that. Okay. Successfully completed calibration. So it is talking about vehicles equipped with optional multi-contour seats. Uh, I don't think I have that. It says if the bladders and bolsters are not deflated, the function may not complete the reset. Is this vehicle equipped with MCS? Well, it's not, so I don't I don't think. I don't even know what that is. So anyway, that's a very quick video on how to reset the seat sensor in your in your car. And this is pretty easy and only took five minutes from start to finish. So that's the end of this video. Good luck with your do-it-yourself projects. If you want to learn more about this scanner and other scanners that I'll be testing with, please subscribe to my channel.